Hi and welcome to Bee Monster Laboratory where we review and explore anything related to STEM toys, STEM kits, circuits, and amateur robotics. Today I'm going to talk about this programmable robot I purchased on Amazon for ages 8 and up. It responds to hand gestures, hand movements, it has obstacle avoidance, it sings, it dances, and it's programmable. Let's check it out. So once we open the package, uh, we should immediately go for the instruction booklet, right? I know I never do, but I will in this case. This is the instruction booklet for the robot that came in the box. It's uh, in English, Dutch, French, Italian, and Spanish. Uh, it's just two pages. It's not that much. So up here, it'll tell you everything that you need to know about the robot, how to control your robot, different options, what the controller does. We'll go over each of those. You turn the page. And it'll show you a little bit more about the robot. Shows you that it dances. It has a uh, couple different dances and different songs. There's a low battery warning. All right, so that's all the instructions. Everything else is in different languages. So that is that. About the controller. So the controller, this is a slide forward, slide backward, walk forward, walk backward. Two middle ones are walk, turn left, turn right. Then you've got a volume up and a volume down and a stop. When you hit stop, it's going to put you in uh, standby mode. You hit demo, it'll go through all the motions of the demo, which is all the motions that the robot will do. If you hit patrol, it will go absolutely everywhere. Um, unless it senses a wall or something, it'll turn around and go the opposite direction. But it just wanders everywhere. There's a dance button, which makes it dance. There's a music button, which it'll roll around and play music. A program button, which this robot is programmable up to 50 buttons on here. So what you do is you hit program, and you hit any series of buttons up here, and then program again to make it do that action in the series, in the order in which you push these buttons. And then uh, robotic language, it's just kind of funny. It's just uh, nonsense. Uh, sounds like a robot breaking down, really. And that's all this controller does. It runs on two AA batteries, which are not included. Make sure you have those on hand. Comes with a power cord, too, um, a charging cord. You charge this robot right here in the center of his chest. And then um, I just power him up using a cell phone charger. You can see here, these are the sensors for the robot. Here's the power button. You hit the power button, and then you just use the remote control to operate him. Uh, his head does not move. His arms move at the shoulders. You can turn his wrist and operate his thumb manually. His legs move and his arms move, and they do move while he's singing and dancing and moving around. It is all held together by very small Phillips head screws. He rolls around with these two rollers on each foot. It, it will pick up hair and probably need to be cleaned out at some point, but there are small rollers and he's uh, he seems pretty sturdy. We'll go ahead and press the power button, power him up, show you what he does on the floor. So basically, I'm going to push slide forward, slide forward, <laughs> the cat is really enjoying this, slide forward, slide backward, turn right, turn left, that's walk forward. Walk backwards. I'll turn his volume up. He gets pretty loud. And I'll hit the demo button. I'll scoot him out here into the middle of the floor. And now I'll press the demo button.
So he just goes through all the motions. And now he's dancing. And his eyes do blink while he's rolling around. He's got blue blue eyes, the light up blue. That is the, that's the language here that, that I said earlier that was kind of like a robot breaking down. So if you hit uh, music, he'll just play music. Let's turn him around. And then scoot him out. And play music. So this is what he does for music. He'll just roll around and play music. Let's program him to do something. Program. So we'll do slide forward, left, slide backward, walk backwards, and then dance and a program. So now he'll dance. I think, yeah, he got hung up on the uh, the floor over there. So anyway, that happens whenever he goes from one surface to another. We're gonna test out his uh, obstacle avoidance ability here. We'll see if he runs into that box. Here we go. And he automatically backs up. So let's see if he runs into this box. And he automatically backs up. And then I'll just put him on patrol and see. So he saw the couch there, and he should see the box there. I'm not controlling anything. So he does avoid obstacles pretty well, and he fell over on the carpet. So there you have it. I'll go ahead and power it up just to show you um, some hand movement, hand gestures that it can. Um, recognize here. We'll press the power button. Hello buddy. I'm your new partner, Airlock. I have a lot of skills. I can sing and dance. Yo ho, my friends. Come on. Let's rock and roll. Music. Stop. He's in standby now that he's in and now that I press stop. And uh, we'll just see what he, how he responds to the movements, like come here. There we go. He's coming toward now back. Back. I don't get this one to work very well. So he did move backwards and then left, or I'm sorry, right? The other way. And we'll see how he responds to going backwards, back, 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 back. Oh my, why don't you play with me? I'm trying to, dude. Back, no. Nope. 
We'll see how he responds to back. 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 Hi, I'm Intelligent Robot. Airlock. What's your name? So we'll re see how he responds to some of the hand gestures, like the come here <laughs> hand gesture. So he does that pretty well. And then going backwards. Backwards. So that was the only one I really have issue with. Maybe they're different. Each one may be different, but he doesn't always go backwards when I want him to go backwards. Um, turn left. He does that fine. And then turn right. Turn right. Nope, we don't want you to go forward. We want you to turn right. There you go. So it is what it is. Um, it's not perfect, but you know, the kids do enjoy playing with it and he doesn't always get it right. But, uh, I would say a lot of the time he does, but the back going backwards is the only one that he really has issue with. And it, maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know. Anyway. All right, let's turn the light off and then see how he does in regular room lighting. So if I tell him to come to me, he came to me, go back, back, go back, <laughs> go back, there we go, and then we'll, we'll do uh, the turns, turn that way, okay, that worked, and turn that way, nope, there. There are, I mean, nothing's perfect, so, obviously, but at least he does respond <laughs> to hand movements. All right, hopefully that gives you an idea of sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, it's just like anything else. He responds to most of the hand motions. Uh, sometimes you just got to do it a couple times, but I'd give it a thumbs up. I mean, it's a kid's toy, so... So my opinion of this robot is that it is it, it is very entertaining, even for adults. It's kind of funny uh, to watch it slide around and play music and talk. Um, kids love it. Our six-year-old loves it. His friends enjoy it. So it, the entertainment aspect is there. Kids younger than eight, I believe, can, can use this with no problem. The gesture controls, uh, they, they don't always work, but if you keep trying... I mean, they'll work. Some work better than others. So it also depends on the lighting that you're in. So that's fine, and that's to be expected. Uh, the programmable feature is pretty neat, and kids love that as well. At least in my experience, kids love that. And it's very easy for them to power up by pushing that button. The only thing we really have to do for the children is to charge it up, and we do that, and it takes, I don't know, maybe an hour. Um, the songs and the dancing is kind of entertaining as well. Obstacle avoidance, it does a pretty good job of that. The quality um, of the robot, I would I would give it an A plus because it feels very sturdy. It can take a beating, it can uh, it can it can fall down, um, you know, no problems. I don't know if you can drop it off a table. We haven't done that, and hopefully will not. But um, the, the quality of the build seems pretty good, and the durability is very good. So I would actually recommend this for. Any child in you know, ages five, depending on you know whether whether your five year old can operate a controller, a remote control, ages five to I don't know nine maybe nine or ten. It's uh, it's pretty neat. I don't know why it has the name right there, Katie Wida. Katie Wida. Um, he does not introduce himself as that, but uh, it's pretty neat, and I would recommend it. And that's my opinion for what that is worth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to like this video by clicking the thumbs up, share it with somebody else who would enjoy it, and don't forget to follow. We'll see you next time.